So, in recent time, there has been a rumor regarding the flights uh, from Nigeria to Dubai. Some people say the flight has opened, some say the flight did not open. The news said that they have resolved the issue, but we are yet to see the real update. Stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to clarify everything that has to do with flight from Nigeria to the Dubai United Arab Emirates. Stay tuned and click that subscription button, like this video, let's go to the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Christian Miller and welcome back to a brand new episode of Life in Dubai United Arab Emirates. Don't forget to support me by liking this video. Just click that like button. If you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe and support the movement. So, I'm um, first of all going to answer some questions which I got from people that are still in Nigeria. Maybe some people, their visa expired before coming to Emirates and... Uh, that we are given an option by their agent so i'm going to uh, bring out some question that was that was addressed to me so i'm going to take this medium to also talk to people because i know a lot of people might be in this situation and they don't know how to go about it so i will put it here if you have a friend that uh that has this condition i think this video might be needful or might be helpful okay now the person told me that his visa expired on the because of the flight issue and now the he contacted the person that did his visa i'm not going to mention the price because the price is not my business okay i'm getting to a point now he contacted the person and uh, the person told him that he's going to extend his visa uh, to one month now somebody that collected a certain amount of money for visa for tourist visa what I don't understand is why are you telling the person advising the person to come to UAE with one month visa like come to you upon say definitely I know definitely that there might be no option for that particular person and maybe that might be his or her last card that he's using for that particular visa extension. And trust me, when he gets here, he might be stranded at the airport. Because to me, that agency might not even pick him at the airport. Or that agency might not even pick his call once he enters this country. Now, my question is this. You as an agency, why are you encouraging somebody to come on one month visa? why me and you know very well that this one month visa is like one day it's like two seconds one month people people are coming on three months and they are they, they before they might get to work they might spend one month plus even if you come and you get a job within that particular period you might before you can tidy one or two things before you know the one month has run off and some company needs you at least you must have at least one month in your in your visa before they might take you so now if the person coming now the one month is already counting that means maybe he has like three weeks most company might not take the person so this is my advice to everybody out there that anybody is encouraging you to come to uae with one month visa and you are coming here to work not that you are coming for tourism one month visa is for people that are coming for tourism People that are coming to see UAE, people that are coming to to view UAE for tourism. But three months visa can give you more time to look for job. That is why it is not advisable to come to UAE with one month visa. Do not, no matter what, even if the person says he's going to do it for you for one naira, do not because you might come here and become frustrated. Like I said before, and I'll repeat it again, getting UAE visa is one thing, but getting to the UAE and see things how it is, is another thing. 
Now, my advice for you is that if your visa was expired because of this flight issue, cool down, relax your mind, go back, research yourself, we package you, re, 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 what they call it? Try to reset yourself, try to repackage yourself, you know? I don't know the English that I will put that you might will understand what I'm saying, but what I'm trying to say is that you don't need to be in hurry to come to this UAE. If you come in hurry, you might go back in hurry. You have to plan yourself. That, that is the English that I'm looking for since. Go back and plan plan yourself, okay? Go back and plan. Do not look my English, you, you understand? Don't look at my English. You just get the message of what I'm trying to say. You get? So, what I'm trying to say is that you should go back and plan yourself. Do not be in a hurry to come to UAE. Because if you're in a hurry to come to UAE, you might be in a hurry to go back. And if you are stubborn, if you are type of the stubborn person that says you cannot go back to Nigeria, even if you want to enter over state, my brother, that is the end of you. Like you will be, you will be in, you will be in a depression. You know, you know, those people that appear okay when they are on overstay, they only appear okay. But if they tell you the depression they are passing through, hmm? because what do you want to do with that visa, with that paper? Where do you want to go? If your friends are going at you, can you follow them? You cannot do anything. You will just sit one place, praying for God to to perform miracle. Why? When there is time, you cannot, you cannot, you can, you cannot prevent. They say prevention is better than cure. Do not enter overstay. Do not come to this UAE with one month visa. Do not come to this UAE with one month visa. Please, I beg you in the name of God. No matter what, I don't, I don't care about how much the person charge you. I don't care about the prices because I believe that everybody has right to, for his business. But for the person telling you to come with one month visa, did the person actually have a company that is going to give you a job immediately? Or just because he want to collect the money? Just Anyway, sure. So ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm going, just going to drop today uh, for life in Dubai. Regarding the flights, now there's a uh, uh, misunderstanding in internet, especially on Facebook. A lot of people are posting where they booked flights and the flight go. Uh, a lot of people say the the flight is open. The flight is not open. The clarification is this: from Nigeria's side, we are okay, but we haven't got any news from this side. The Emirates airline haven't released any official announcement regarding this flight. So as long as the Emirates airline did not announce that they are taking off from Lagos, whether you are booking or you are seeing the, the, the booking, this thing is open or the website is open. As long as there is no official announcement from them, it simply means that there is no flight for now. But we are hoping from now till next week, there will be a positive news because the Ministry of Aviation has declared that the issue between the, the two countries has been resolved. So there is peace now and they are waiting for, for certain approval for the, uh, for the operation to commence. So they are just waiting for the official announcement. Once this official announcement is made, the flight is going to kick off. But for now, for now, there is no flight. And secondly, Please and please do not go through any route again. Do not follow, do not go through Benin Republic, do not go through Ghana, do not go, just wait for the flight to open. Please and please, if you are trying to apply new visa now, do not apply visa until the flight is officially open. Do not apply for any visa now until your flight is officially open for your own safety and stop wasting of money. Wait, calm down, no matter what is. You are in a hurry to leave Nigeria. UAE is not running away. UAE is always here. So just wait. When there is official announcement that the flight operation has opened and the first batch has moved, then we can commence or you can commence your visa um, applic application. You get. 
So that is all I have to say today. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Christian Miller. This is Life in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Here we we'll bring you everything that has to do with United Arab Emirates and your jobs and employment. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. If you are new in my channel, kindly subscribe. If you are already part of the family, don't forget to like this video. Drop your comment at the comment section. If you have any question, don't forget to ask me because I'm very much active to answer any question you have to ask me. My name is Christian Miller, yours faithfully, and this is Life in Dubai. Don't forget to follow me on uh, on Instagram as Christian Miller Dubai, on Twitter, Christian Miller Dubai. You can also follow our platform at uh, The Voice of Nigerians in Dubai. My name is Christian Miller. Peace off and God bless. I'm